Right, guys, welcome back to some more Stellar Blade. Hope you are all alright. Now, as I said at the end of my last video, I went and did. So I got the fish, sell the fish. You got to Barry, so we've got to go back and do that. Um, what was the other one? There was the other one for capturing a specific type of fish, and I got that as well. It's so funny, you know, when you go fishing in there, you can get, like, special bait, and you can actually catch great white sharks <laughs> in that little pond. It's so funny. Right, anyway, as promised, we are going straight for the main objective, which is Abyss Lavoie. So let's go. We're going to get this done, and then see what we've got time for afterwards. We've been putting this objective off for way too long. Well, not putting it off, but we've just been distracted with other stuff. Oh. Oh, I should have known. Oh, nice. I actually managed to open it, though. Oh, shit. Do I have to go through another test? Yes, there cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. Interesting. Why can't I parry those? Why is it telling me to dodge them? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Shit, it's too far away. Stop telling me to dodge, I want to parry. One more. Oh, you bastard. Come on, what are you waiting for? That it kept telling me to pat um, to dodge there. Just as I heard, outsider. Hmm. This place is deeper and darker than the last. Please be careful. Yeah, the last one was a little bit crazy. I didn't like it because we could only use our, uh, we could only use the drone. I wonder if it's going to be the same kind of thing. No blade, just like an Altes Lavoir. Yep, no drone scanner either. Lily, are you feeling in for Adam? Yeah, he's busy fixing the tetrapod again. Ah, all right. I know I'm in safe hands with you, Lily. Well, there was my question answered straight away. Can't even scan. What about that? Right, well. Gotta keep our eyes and ears peeled down here. Oh shit! Should've known. 
That's why you can't scan. I don't think I have anything to do in particular, but I am going to rest up because I don't have don't have all my uh, my heals. There we go. Right. Behind this thing. Oh, I don't like that. I'll find a way to shut down security. Wait, where am I swinging to? Or just down? <gasps> Nice. Nicely done, Eve. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh, I need to, this must uh, this must lead somewhere. Right, we've got to watch out for jumps. I hate them things. I, I, I do not like them. They creep me out. We're gonna have to move. Eve, what? Oh, shit. Should have known. Right, just give me a moment because I saw something around the other side as well. in the control room back at Altes Lavoir. Right, well, I'm just taking that as let's find another way. It reminds me of that research lab. There must be a panel to open the gate somewhere. Oh, it's in there. I can see it. This is exactly like Altes Lavoir. I was ready. Uh, that seemed like it opened a vent, not a gate. 
Yeah, but that's fine. What vent did it open? That's where I came in at. I was fully expecting one a bit. Oh! Oh shit. Those ones there appear uh, stuff of nightmares. I do not like them ones. All right, there we go. The gate security is down. Cultivation experiment. Still wondering what vent got opened when Lily said. Uh, I'm going to refill my ammo, actually. Wait, oh, maybe not. I must have picked it up off the dead bodies. Were you there before? I feel like you weren't there before. Oh, you fucker! Get them. Stop doing that! <laughs> this looks like the place we saw earlier. The old research lab. This looks more like a factory. Oh, shit! Get me out of here. Yeah, now this is identical to the first one. The gate is blocked too. We need to find. Ah, no, Eve. I'm just checking around for stuff. Ah, 
you bastard. You tried it. Tried it, but you weren't successful. So many save points, like... The other side of the gate is crawling with Natibas. But this looks like the only way we can get inside. I'll try to find a way to unlock the gate. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Wait, I'm literally out of ammo. These ones are really do. This is a problem. This is a big problem. How do I change what ammunition I'm using?
Oh, I see. I need to go down. Oh my god, why have you done that, Eve? I wanted you to drop down. Go, get up, get up, get up. Whee. <sighs> that was really scary. Let's head to the gate on the other side. Eve, sorry for the wait. So, shall we head out? Too late, we're already here. Security system online. Adam, can you check our proximity to the hypercell? Give me a sec. The hypercell is just past the research lab. Damn, the entire research wing has collapsed. Then can't we just swim the rest of the way? No. The water is electrified with a lethal high voltage current. So now what? We'll have to use whatever we have at our disposal. Oh, that was lucky. Was that worth it? Probably not. You hit right. What are you protecting there? Oh, how do I? Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? Oh, fuck off. Oh, has it really put me all the way back there? Defeat 150 enemies with ranged attacks, nice. We can go the correct way now. We should be able to get to the research building's entrance with the rope. Ah, so.
Nice. Did I do that right? I think I did. Oh, you fucker. Did a bloody no one shouldn't have. Oh, shit. Wasn't expecting to. I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting two of them. All right, here we go. Wait, is that if I failed the jump? I would have ended up down there. Looks like it. I'm not going down there if there's no reason to. I think that's just if I failed that jump. Shit, that's because I saw that enemy. Hard to change your momentum. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. You sneaky thing. Polymer. <laughs> Few more secrets. <laughs> right, let's try that again and not jump off this time. We need one more upgrade for the drone. That's so crazy. All right, here we go.
Oh shit. That's ghoul. <laughs> you did it. Not as hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypercell. Get all our rewards first. I think that's it. The hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that had lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I. I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be. Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No! We're humans! Humans with complete bodies. Perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space! But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then, why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that.
here. Excellent work. Hey, Ethan. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... We're androids. We were created. Then why... Why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point, Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Nativas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now, my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Nativa cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? doesn't change the fact that Nativas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Nativa. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. Well, that was a bombshell and a half. Right. We've got things to turn in, I believe. First stop, Barry. So, you are leaving then? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve. Make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Alrighty then. Barry. Oh, Angel. My, my, you sure give me strength. Since you seem to come by so often, I'll try to cheer up. The feeling is mutual. Seeing someone who works so hard gives me strength too. Right. Yeah, you can have uh, you can have three great white sharks if you want. Well, I must say, I'm very grateful. What do you think you're 
Sorry, I mean, are you actually cooking? For what reason? Reason? Everything doesn't have to have a reason, you know. You had no reason to help me, but you did it anyway. Yes, you're right. Scraps, parts, energy, you name it. Everybody's fighting for scraps. Let's do this later. No, we don't need this now. This is just how things are. We've given up the finer things in life. If all we're living for is bare necessity, how are we any different from the machines? I'm just trying to hold on to the past. That's all. Well, it must be nice. I'm surprised. All this time I thought you were just a freak. <laughs> I must have some life in me after all, if I manage to surprise an angel. See you later, Barry. I hope your determination never dies. You got it. Take care, Angel. All right. Uh, what else we got? Bulletin board. We've got a new mission down here. Right. Oh, an unforgettable fish dish. Meals made with fish must contain something that jogs memory. Catch a channel catfish. Yeah, I definitely don't have one of them. Um. Right, there's there's more stuff to do in the Great Desert, so... Looks like that may be our destination. Lily, have you seen Adam? right here a minute ago I'm sure he'll show up soon while we wait should we check the main body frame so Eve because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data we can now distribute the body cells power for greater offensive capabilities it might add some stress but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine that'll be of great help during combat Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Nice. Finally got our second expansion slot. Uh, anything else for us, Lily, or not? Be an alpha nativa in the orbit elevator. If it hadn't been for Orkel's help, we might have never realized. I didn't think there'd be a functioning orbit elevator. Nice. Uh, let's have... Enya, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just... It's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve. I'm sorry to bother you with this. If 
if it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always. Madama Machine. Dr. Digger. Got another mission up there now. relationship we have built so far will remain in effect yes digger good to see that you're adjusting well digger you were the one who spoke with Enya right yes artistic activities are truly amazing it was my first time hearing a song I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably I heard you know something about the song I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. Now I'll have a look in his shop again. Hi, Digger. How are you finding things here? Are you liking Zion? This environment appears in need of beautification. I'm currently learning the rules of the city. After that has been done, I will decide on my plan. Um, I can't even afford. I have to go. I don't have many customers, so it does make me a bit sad to hear that you're leaving. Oh. We'll see each other again. Goodbye. Who would Digger? Is this Barry again? See, why didn't this mission come up when I was up here yet? Sorry, but we're closed for the day. I'm in no mood to continue working. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, G, hold on just a minute. Huh? Aren't you curious why I don't want to work? You can ask. And why do I need to know? You're right. I guess it's not that interesting. But please, could you just uh, allow me to explain myself? I thought talking about it would make me feel better. Go ahead. On the night of the full moon, there will be a memorial service in honor of the fallen sentinels. The wine saved for the memorial service. It's all gone. Do you think it was stolen? No, no. I, I may have just had a sip or two every night. If I don't get more wine in time for the memorial service, the man might actually kill me. So, are you saying you want to have him killed first? No. Okay. You know about the Talos Plaza in 807? The old plaza that's flooded. If you could go there and bring me just three bottles of wine from the cellar, well, you would save my life, Angel. A life worth only three bottles of wine. I'll look for it on the way back. So we're going to 807 for that mission, then.
right, I'm trying to think where should we go? Because we could go to eight or seven and just go. Like everything else, I think, is the Great Desert, so I might just go to eight or seven for this one mission, and then we'll save the other ones for next time. You're already prepared to leave. Mm hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but. Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter, okay? Let's go. Right, uh, eight or seven. Right. Flooded commercial sector. See, I'm trying to think where that is. Try here. Could be miles off here, but. I am miles off. Oh no, I've not got the right mission. Aha! Bang on. Oh, I know where it, I know what. Yep, yeah, I know where it is. That's gonna be anywhere. Oh, that's Olivia. You must have come all the way out here for junk. Meeting an angel in a place like this. Lucky me. Actually, I was just about to head back to Zion. Did you find anything useful? Oh, I didn't come out all this way just to pick up junk. Then why? I deciphered a code that was intentionally hidden inside 807's map data. I decoded it, and this is what it gave me. Wanderers will find their rest when the song of the siren reaches their ears. The siren they're referring to probably refers to the statue of a mermaid in Patelos Plaza. Long ago, there was a time where scavengers were actually called wanderers. It was like a code that was waiting just for me. So that's why I came to find rest in spite of all the dangers. Did you ever find it? No. I gave up, because finding the siren was too hard with all the nativas around. Do you want me to take a look instead? I'd be so grateful. You should be able to find rest by activating the siren with this modified fusion cell. Leave it to me. You should return to Zion. Okay. Then I'll be waiting for you there. Siren's song. Right, let's just uh, do one thing at a time. What's the crap with all the people now? What are you doing here? You're not a scavenger. I came here to look for my partners because I heard the water had dried. I'm not seeing my partners. They should be here. Partners? A while back, I was part of a trio with a couple other scavengers. We all used to scavenge around 8 or 7 back in the day. One day, mixed in with some random junk we came across, we found a clue about possible treasures in the flooded square. We got our hands on some dive suits and... Swam our way there. The place was brimming with treasure not seen above ground. I remember how beautiful it was. But then, bad luck met good luck. Just like that. The others started having trouble with their dive suits. I... Only I was able to escape. And your partners? They died? Yes. When I returned to Zion, I put the scavenger life behind me and became something of a recluse. Every night I was plagued by horrible dreams. Angel, please. I'd ask that you come to me immediately if you find any evidence of scavengers here. All right. I'll let you know if I find something. Hey, 
Why did that not give me the option to ambush? That did. It's a warm cellar. Oh, and in good shape, too. The best wine you can find. Let's take one of each. The three bottles Barry asked for should suffice. It isn't just Barry who could use a drink. Nice. Right, we've got other things to do now while we're here, so I'm not going to go straight back just yet. Yeah, this is... Oh, shit. This is the one I was thinking of, this over here, where this cord is. How do I get in here? I remember coming here the first time. Oh, oh I just needed the mission. The corpse of a scavenger. Actually, wait. There are two of them. Seems like they were stuck here a long time. Yes. They swam here, and then found themselves stranded. Hey, I found a journal. This is filled with treasure, but I didn't expect my insulated diving suit to break down. There's a more test before coming, but it looks like Baron escaped. I'm glad that crybaby was able to get out with Lynx. Oh dear. It's as Baron said. He and his partners dove to find treasure underwater. It looks like their dive suits malfunctioned, so they waited for it to be rescued. But Baron left, thinking they were already dead. I'm not sure. Do you think he'll be able to take it? Take what we can for now. Let go. Right, we need to go and speak with him. Then we got one more thing to do. of your former partners. They were... They were alive. I did it. I killed them. Me. Baron, calm down. Listen, this is not your fault. Eve, I think it's best we let him be. <laughs> oh, and he stopped crying already. Well, he got over it quickly. Ah, and I remember seeing this as well. This statue that's over around here. Look over there. It's our statue. You have the fusion cells that Olivia gave you? Yes. Let's put it in the fusion box. Building. It's all lit up. That building there is a motel. That's a place to sleep and recover, right? Yeah, that's probably why Olivia called it a resting place. The decor is somehow worse than I thought, even for cheap accommodations. But having somewhere to lay your head that can give you the strength to stand on your feet. I agree. Still, I was expecting a little more. How disappointing. Well, I'm going to return. I don't know if she's gone back to Zion or not. Yes, she has. 
I just heard the songs of the siren. I knew you could do it, Angel. Did you find the treasure? When the siren first started singing, everything started lighting up. There wasn't much after that. Is that really it? I suppose I thought a resting place would be more special. I'm sorry about all this. My misunderstanding just wasted your time. No, it's like Adam said. Having somewhere to lay your head can give you the strength to stand on your feet. Sometimes a place to rest is its own kind of treasure. Yeah, it's like how Zion is our resting place. I'll be going now. Let me know if you learn anything else important. Yeah, of course. Be safe. Nice. Right. Oh, it got Barry as well. Jacques Tournel, Navarronti, oh, the perfect combination. Thank you, thank you so much, Angel. Thank you, Angel. I owe you my life. You must attend the memorial service when the full moon rises. Okay, send me an invitation. I need to go now. Mm. It's been ages since I've tasted a wine of quality. Just, just a little taste. Don't drink it all, you greedy bastard. Right, as I'll head back to our uh, most common place we start and finish videos at. Doing really well, I think, with the side content. I think we're getting through it at a nice pace. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed much so far. Obviously, there'll be stuff like cans and that that I've clearly missed because what the fuck is that box doing? What? <laughs> yeah. Right. We're not going to talk to Adam. We're going to rest. Right, guys. Well... I'm going to leave it there for now. So if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new around here as well, it really helped me out a lot. But other than that, I hope wherever you all are, you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.